Hey everybody, welcome back to NC Grass Plug. Today we are going to show you how to set our 50 cell Bermuda plugs using our auger. And we're going to show you how to mix up soil moist. So these are soil moist fines. Soil moist fines is a uh, root dip mix that reduces plant waterings. So what it does is we're going to mix this into water it's going to swell up. We're going to dip our plug into it before we put it in the ground. But first, let's uh, let's mix this up, show you how to do it. So the directions here say, I don't know if you can read that, but it says to mix one tablespoon or one half ounce with anywhere from six tenths of a gallon to one and a quarter gallons of water. Mix vigorously into a slurry. That's what we're going to do. So let me get this uh, here in this bucket. We're going to mix this up one tablespoon okay while that is setting up uh, we're going to go ahead and dig some holes with our auger, but first I'm going to show you how to connect your auger to your cordless drill. So let's do that real quick. All we're going to do, stick the auger into the chuck, tighten it up. My drill's kind of broken, but we just get it in there where it's nice and tight. All right, so our plugs are two inches deep. And we need to get to about right here on our depth. I just drilled a couple of holes. That's my first time using this particular auger. Um, the difference between this and the Pro Plugger, um, first off is the diameter size difference. Our 50 cell plugs are like 1.96 inches in diameter at the top, where the Pro Plugger uh, is about 2.2 inches. So that's gonna make a hole that's a little too big for these plugs. Let's go ahead and finish out making some holes about one foot apart. I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing this. We're gonna plant this patch right here and you can follow me in some future videos on how this is growing in. Looks like our soil moisture is starting to set up if you can see it on my hands. All right, so it literally took me like four or five minutes to drill more than 50 holes. I think I got more than 50, so I'll be covering some of these back in. But let me show you just how easy it is to dip these plugs and get them in the ground. Now, if you go to put a plug in a hole and you've drilled your hole too deep, what you can do is you can pick the plug up, sweep a little dirt back into the hole, put the plug in until it's about level with the ground. So. Let's get a little closer look and see what we can do here. One thing I want to show you real quick is uh, the consistency of this is like applesauce. It's like kind of like runny applesauce. We'll pull a plug from the tray. Dip it, set it, perfect depth. Grab a truck plug from the tray, dip it, set it. We're just going to repeat this process until we're done. Wait. 
Okay, so it's probably like another five minutes, maybe six minutes to plant a whole 50 cell tray of Bermuda plugs. Now that we have our plugs in the ground, what we want to do is we want to walk around and step on each one to make sure it's firmly conformed to the hole that we made. After that, we're going to apply some water. What I recommend is we go ahead and fertilize these either with a starter fertilizer or a high nitrogen fertilizer. But once we do that, we need to water that fertilizer in. I always like to use RGS or some sort of kelp to help stimulate root growth. So we're going to mix up a little bit of RGS this week, put it on here, throw some fertilizer on it, get it watered in, and we'll bring you some update videos on what this spot looks like in the next week or two. All right, a real quick flyby before we wrap this up for today. Here are our grass plugs before we water them. We're just gonna go ahead and throw down some uh, granite. Right, today is August the 5th, and this is a two week update on these plugs. So you can really see how much they've grown. We've got some of the stolens touching other stolens. Some of them are still trying to reach out, but looks like these plugs have probably tripled in size. We fertilized once and we've had two rains. And that's all these plugs have had in two weeks. So they're looking pretty good right now. All right, so that's our two week update. Today is August the 5th. We did uh, one tray right here uh, it's been 14, maybe 15 days now, and we have had two rains, and we fertilized it once. And if you remember, we dipped these plugs in soil moist. So there we are for this week. I'll bring you some more updates here in the future, and we'll catch you next time.